come back to Candace Corner. Today I am going to bake a chocolate chip cookie. But if you're like me and not too much of a lover of chocolate, you could tolerate chocolate but not too much of it. And if you're eating a chocolate chip cookie, most of the times you're eating it, you're pinching out the chocolate and more trying to eat the dough itself. I am one of those persons. Don't get me wrong, I love chocolate. I don't like too much of it. Um, if I can do without it, I could do without it. So, so I really like the texture and flavor of a chocolate chip dough. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make chocolate chip cookie, but with all the chocolate chip. So what I am gonna put in to compensate for the lack of chocolate is just some of my homemade chocolate syrup that I made. We're going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to use some uh, uh, flour, egg, you know, the normal ingredients that you would use to make your chocolate chip. But the only thing is we're not going to add chocolate chip, but we're going to add my chocolate syrup. The link for that chocolate, chocolate chip syrup would be above. So you can check out that syrup link. So, okay, let's get into today's recipe. Chocolate chip cookies without the chocolate chip. Thanks again for joining me. In my container, I have butter and I have powdered sugar. I'm going to mix this and then I am going to add my egg. Then I'm going to incorporate the egg into the butter and sugar. Make sure it is mixed and smoothly as possible. And then I'm going to add my chocolate syrup. The link would be in the cards above for that syrup. Now I am going to start to add my sifted flour. As I said, all of the measurements would be in the description and adding it slowly and mixing slowly and mixing we don't want to add all at one time and create lumps i am going to add some of my pumpkin spice mixture this is optional and i'm going to add the last amount of flour i'm going to bring this in together and i'm going to scoop out one spoon at a time and place in my baking tray to save time I'm not going to take you through the process of putting all into the baking tray but the last two I am going to just share the ending with you and this is how easily basically I made my chocolate chip less cookie I really like the taste of a chocolate chip cookie, but what I don't like is little chunks of chocolate in a chocolate chip cookie because I tend to get fed up quickly of sweet stuff, especially chocolate. So I have decided to just make the cookie but not add the chip and you would have a really nice tasting cookie and as i added the chocolate syrup that i made to this cookie it was it still had that chocolatey taste but you don't have the chocolate bite bite-sized pieces so i let that bake for 15 minutes as i said all of the instructions would be in the description box and remove them and put them on the rack to cool and I just enjoy them I was thinking to add a little chocolate glaze over this but I was like no I, I don't want the chocolate chocolate taste so nah <laughs> so I did not add no type of glaze and I really like a, a cookie that I could bite into and not this um, very dry crunchy cookie i like a cookie that is not too soft but not too hard just the right amount of crunch around the edges that's how i like my cookie if it's a ginger cookie ginger cookies only cookie ginger cookie and oatmeal cookies only is two cookies that i really like 
thin and crunchy other than that this is how i like my cookies i do hope you enjoy watching and don't forget to check out these previous videos thanks for watching Thank you.